If you're a big fan of Arceus Inteleon, which frankly I am, then there's nothing quite like having just that little bit of extra spice, that beadrill to help you get across some tough matchups, which is exactly what Kaito Arai did with this ninth place list from the European International Championships. Beadrill, the single strike Beadrill, is a very, very powerful attacker that allows us to take knockouts on Pokemon that otherwise Arceus Inteleon wouldn't be able to KO. The only caveat is that your opponent's act Pokemon needs to have a special energy attached, but when you think about it, almost every top deck in standard format right now is playing some sort of special energy. So Beedrill is super, super good. Its attack, Persist Sting for a Grass Energy, allows you to knock out your opponent's active Pokemon if it has any special energy attached. It's also got Jet Spear for 110 damage. Uh, we pay one Grass Energy to do that and then discard an energy from this Pokemon. Usually not going to be enough, but if you are playing up against something that is weak to grass, then it's probably a good backup option, especially if they don't play special energy. If we want to get that Beedrill in play, then we are going to need to combine it with Single Strike Mustard. This card is the only way for us to get that Beedrill in play. We play this card when we have no other cards left in our hand, then search our deck for a Single Strike Pokemon, put it onto our bench, shuffle our deck, draw five cards. It's a very, very strong card, but it only works in a very specific situation. Isn't it lucky, then, that we have cards like Arceus V-Star to be able to help us get those specific situations working more often? Arceus V-Star, obviously a very popular card in the standard format at the moment. It has 280 HP and is a normal type V-Star Pokemon, and the reason that so many people are playing it is because it has the ability Starbirth, which allows it once per game to search for any two cards in your deck. That card could be your Rapid Strike Mustard. Maybe you just need something to clear out your hand, an Ultra Ball or a Quick Ball to help you discard some cards. I think this Arceus will be able to get you your Beedrill in play almost every time. I just need to be a little bit lucky along the way, but ultimately it is very, very strong. If you do go up against decks that aren't uh, that aren't special energy reliant, by the way, Arceus V Star is an incredibly good attacker for two. Uh, does 200 damage for three normal energy. I can barely even speak. That's how strong it is. Plus, it also powers up a benched V Pokemon. You want to accelerate some energy to a benched Arceus. You are more than capable of doing that. Turning the Nova 200 damage to the active, and then accelerate three basic energy to any of your V Pokemon in any way you like. This is obviously paired up quite nicely with our Inteleon line. It's very, very popular at the moment. Cards like Drizzile and Inteleon both having the Shady Dealings ability. Means when you put it in play you can search your deck for one or two item or trainer cards depending on which uh, Drizzile or Inteleon you put in play. Drizzile is one trainer, Inteleon is two trainers. Plus we also have Quick Shooting Inteleon. Very good, very strong, very nice. Does the job against lots of potential threats. Uh, quick Shooting can place two damage counters onto a Pokemon of your choice, which can sometimes be just enough to get that extra bit of damage that you need to take a knockout with your Arceus. We also have one copy of Galarian Zigzagoon in this deck. We sometimes need just a 10 damage tick more to get a knockout on Pokemon that have 220 HP. If we attach a double colorless, a double turbo energy to our Arceus, we have to do 20 damage less. We then attach a choice belt, which we have one copy of. We do 30 damage more, which ultimately adds up to 210. That extra ping means we're going to do 220 damage and knock out other Arceus Vs as well. So a very, very strong deck. Apart from that, the list is relatively simple self-explanatory. If you want to check it out yourself, it is down in the description as always. Feel free to play along. Let's see if Beedrill can get some knockouts, eh? Time to get started. We have got a very good opener. It looks like we are up against Urshifu here, which is a very bad deck to play against when your Pokemon are weak to fighting. Let's grab a uh, another Pokemon with our Ultra Ball here. We can grab ourselves a Sobble. I like the look of that. We've got Ultra Ball in hand, plus Ebelune and Research. A good hand to have going into our next turn. But I am worried that our opponent playing Urshifu will be able to easily take knockouts on our Arceus V. Now, here's the thing. We might not be able to get any Beedrill knockouts. If our opponent is intelligent about their energy attachments throughout this game, it will be difficult for us to take them. But it is worth noting that they already have 
a rapid strike energy in play. So, I mean, I was saying that it's probably difficult, but it seems like maybe not. Maybe it's maybe it's not as tough as I initially thought. Um, this deck is not what I thought it was. I was under the impression that it was probably going to be Gustavo Wada's winning Urshifu list, but it looks to me like it's more of a hybrid, perhaps featuring Arceus. We could even be looking at Sylveon, which was a list that we played on the channel yesterday, so if you want to check that one out, um, tell you what, I'll put a link at the end of the video. How does that sound? You can tell you, check out the Sylveon list at the end of the video, but don't stop watching now. Don't do it. We're just getting started. Also, thank you to all those 38% gang people that jumped in last time. Um, I did the actual genuine maths, and I think the number is lower. I'm not going to actually mention it, because I like the idea of the 38% gang. So, continue to represent down in the comments. Uh, if you don't know what the 38% gang is, then you're not part of the 38% gang. So you got to figure out what it is so you can join it. It is Sylveon. We see that coming into play here. Uh, the Sylveon, obviously, a very, very strong attacker. But now I'm feeling better about that special energy. We are way more likely to see it here. Um, and our opponent's also gone for the Strafe, which is interesting. I'm actually going to chuck a Crobat into the active for us. It's very kind. Um, we've got a couple of things we can do here. We can go crazy and grab ourselves an Arceus, though I think that's 100% the correct call right now, and then just research. Research, draw a fresh hand of seven cards, and see where the knight takes us. This looks incredible. We've got ourselves a double turbo in hand. We've got a Drizzile as well. Plus, we also have a quick ball that I really, really like. In fact, next turn, we could pretty much guarantee that our mustard goes off. So, I'm very excited. You should be excited as well. Even though we are potentially in a position where our opponent can hit us for weakness, we have enough resources. It's going to be A-OK. -okay. I'm going to grab the level ball here um, and make sure that I've got access to enough sobbles because one thing that I don't want to happen is for our opponent to G-Max Rapid Flow and take a knockout on both of these Pokemon. We are not going to Starbirth. Should we Starbirth? We're not going to. We're just going to take the knockout. We're going to get those three, uh, two prizes off of that Crobat and accelerate to a benched Arceus V. We've got an Energy Search in hand and a Mustard, which is a good couple of cards to have. Not ideal, of course. We'd much rather have the, uh, the Energy Search in the deck so that we can search it out next turn. But I'm feeling really happy. Um, and if they do G-Max Rapid Flow, we've at least got access to another attacker next turn. And it looks like that might be the direction that they're heading in. A Melanie attaching a Water Energy to the uh, Urshifu. And they'll be ready to attack for a knockout on our Arceus next turn. Now, it doesn't matter what attacker, um, whether or not they evolve. At the moment, they are doing enough. And they're just going to go for the 100 Furious Blows. And uh, that's a real shame for them, because it means that now I'm just going to be able to Quick Ball and set up my board and attack with Arceus again, and I should be able to get a knockout. Uh, what I will do, though, is I will put the Drizzile in the active. Seems like the smartest choice. Um, what have we got? What have we got to do here? So we can't take a knockout with the... Well, I mean, we could take a knockout with Beedrill. The question is, do we want to knock out with Beedrill? It, well, I mean, the video is about Beedrill, so maybe we do want to do that. Um, let's grab another... Oh, boy, actually. Two grass left in deck, plus the energy in our hand. Um, maybe the stadium could be the way to go. Be able to get that energy back with the stadium. We're going to use Inteleon here. We are going to Shady Dealings. Let's grab ourselves that training court. Uh, plus we could also grab like, I don't know. I'm not sure. Scoop up and it seems reasonable actually to get the, get the Pokemon in the active. Doesn't seem too bad. Doesn't seem too bad at all. Let's throw down this training court. Uh, then we can scoop up net. We will grab ourselves all of our pieces. I'll put the Arceus in the active at the moment and play down the Sobble. Then I will play down this Drizzile and we will search for yet another trainer. And you know what? It's probably, probably going to be an Ultra Ball. I like the idea of an Ultra Ball. Even though we're going to lose in Inteleon, we have another one. It's going to be fine. We can get rid of those two cards. Grab ourselves a... Uh, we want an Arceus, not an Inteleon. I just saw the gold and went click, click, click. That's the one we want. Arceus V-Star. Then we can Rapid Strike Mustard. Put a Beedrill from our deck onto the bench and then draw some more cards. And uh, unfortunately, we don't have access to a... Uh... Oh, well, they're just going to quit. That's a shame. It's a real shame. We were, I mean, we were going to win anyway. 
So just as an FYI, whilst we are waiting for this game to set up, I will very quickly explain why we were going to ex uh, to going to win that game. Um, we would have taken knock uh, knockout on the active. We had access to all the cards that we could possibly need. We just needed a choice belt, which we could have got with our V-Star ability, which I don't think we'd used. Um, right now, I'm just going to focus on playing this turn out correctly. We're going to grab ourselves an Arceus. We're going to grab ourselves a Sobble, and then we're going to move on with our life. I think that's perfectly reasonable. Um, Arceus seems like a good choice. We could also get we could get rid of the Energy Search here. I don't mind getting rid of the Energy Search. We could also get rid of the Drizzile, actually. I think that's fine, too. Uh, we'll play down the Sobble. And then next turn, we're going to be able to have an empty hand, or at least pretty close to an empty hand, in order to get a drill out nice and quickly. What was I saying? I was talking about the last game. Yes, we would have won. We would have been able to search out the choice belt, take the knockout on the active. We would then have ourselves a whole bunch of options when it came to taking our next knockout. They would need to use a special energy to get an attack off with either Rapid Strike Yoshifu or Rapid Strike Sylveon, which means drill comes in, wins the game. It's pretty good. It's going to need to trust me that that would have happened. And I understand why some people don't think that I am worth trusting when it comes to this game. Because every now and then I make a bit of a silly play. But that's, you know, that's what it is. Alright, what are we playing up against here? It looks like we've got a Dark Arceus deck. A very, very interesting combination of cards. Although very popular, this could be anything from Arceus Inteleon with that Dark package. To Arceus Malamar, that's a possibility as well. Much less likely, but still technically possible. Let's see, Ultra Ball here will probably give us an insight into what we are playing. It looks like it is at least uh, partially that Baby Moltres deck. It looks like it is going to be mostly that with a Bidoof. Pass turn and it's on to us. Looks like we've got a pretty solid hand here. I'm going to go for the Energy Search, grab a Grass Energy. Ooh, I'll put that on the uh, Arceus and then use our Mustard. What you going to do about that, friend? We're going to put the B Drill in play, draw some cards and see... Whether or not we can get an attack off this turn, and I think we can. In fact, I'm 99% sure that not only can we get an attack, we can get a knockout. And this is why you play the Zigzagoon, folks. We're going to evolve into Arceus V-Star. That there is a main attacker. We are going to then use Star Birth. We're going to search our deck. We want a couple of things. We want a basic Pokemon to accelerate energy to. We also probably want to find ourselves a choice belt if we have it. So we scroll to the end of the deck, we find the choice band, choice belt, choice belt, and we attach it to our Arceus, play the Arceus on the bench, and then scoop up the Zigzagoon. And Mitch, you might be uh, you might be saying, Mitch, you're only doing 210 HP. Well, that's why we put the goon in there, 220. Trinity Nova, look at this. Oh my goodness, somebody stopped me. I'm going to accelerate some energy here. We'll go water, double grass. We'll play the water energy, by the way, so that we can attack with the uh, Inteleon if we have to. Although, in this game, I don't think we're going to need it. Uh, and the real shame here is that we are so far in front now that our opponent is likely to scoop, which is disappointing. We've got so much going for us. We, we were so young. We were full of life and energy. I mean, look at we've got plenty of energy. We've got an Arceus that's not getting knocked out. We've got an Arceus V that is going to... It's going to take a hell of a, a knockout to get that one. Plus, if they attach any special energy at all, Beedrill comes in and takes the knockout itself. So, we have a pretty strong field. And you can see how quickly this deck gets set up. I mean, it is so consistent. It happens almost every game. Uh, and that's the joy of Arceus Inteleon. The big issue is that now... Rapid Strike Urshifu is very strong, and everyone's going to be playing it, so I would anticipate that Beedrill is probably a flash in the pan. Although, to be fair, it would have been great to have seen this in the top 8, only just missing out. Coming in ninth place. This is the type of deck that I like to play. Big ol' Beedrill. It's a big ol' Beedrill. I had a joke that I wanted to put in the, in the, in the video about, like, a guy who doesn't remember the names of any of the Pokemon from when Pokemon Go came out. But I've got a family-friendly kind of persona, and I don't want to put any words that are inappropriate in the, in the channel. I just don't want to do it. But if, if you know it, you know it. You know it. That's Pikachu. You don't know it. You've got no idea what's going on. What's the situation, Shiver Shaft? Well, shouldn't have said that name out loud. Uh, Big Barrel coming into play. Going to draw up to five cards. That's such an impressive ability. I love that card so much. But Barrel allows you to do so many different things. Uh, Big Charm coming down on the Crobat, which is pretty impressive, frankly. Um, we'll see whether that becomes relevant. 
And uh, yeah, looks like we've got ourselves an attacking Arceus, maybe. Uh, they will need to attach double turbo energy, and this means that our Beedrill is now ready. It's primed. We can take the knockout, and not only can we take the knockout, we can also share it up this Arceus. Yeah, are things going perfectly? I don't want to make any rash statements. I don't want to make any suggestions about the quality of the game that we are having. But I tell you what, we have got a hell of a time here for you. We're going to put this energy on the Beedrill. We're going to chuck this big charm down. And then we will persist Sting. Take the knockout on the Arceus. Our opponent has six prizes to take. And we only need to find two. And that means we are so close to being able to win this game. We haven't even used any of our Drizzles yet, I think. Maybe one. No, none. We're getting judged. We might need them now, to be fair. We may we may need them now. Alrighty then. We've got ourselves a boss, so if they play down another Pokemon, we can use boss's orders to bring something into the active. We've also got Drizzile in our hand. I'm feeling pretty comfortable in the sense that if they play down any Pokemon that are worth two prizes, we should be able to win this game. And it looks like our opponent's gearing up for a Crobat play, which means that they are going to have a Pokemon with 180 HP on the bench. I like that. We could even theoretically knock the one out in the active, although... We don't need to. It's overkill, I think. Potentially. And yeah, it's just such a good deck. Why am I not playing this deck more often? It's fun. It's got a big B. It's got everything you could possibly want. Hey, let's, uh, let's just chuck the Arceus in the active. What are you going to do about it, friend? What are you going to do about it? Not much, I would guess. They are going to Industrious Incisors for a couple more pro uh, cards. They're looking for the Crobat VMAX, I would think. If they have access to the Crobat VMAX, then maybe they can take a knockout, but it is not happening. We will use Boss's Orders to bring out the Crobat on the bench and take the knockout. Trinity Nova, 200 damage. That is six prizes to none. We are very good at Pokemon. We're modest as well. I, I think that's a pretty good reflection of how that deck works. It's frankly unbelievable. Be believable. Do you get it? I should put that in the title. That's actually really, really smart. As are these people over here for being members. Thanks for the support on the channel. Even if you're not a member anymore, I appreciate you having been one in the past. And as I mentioned, here is a video for you on Sylveon, a deck that did make the top eight in the European International Championships. Click on this to see a deck that, frankly, I play very poorly, but is quite good. Click it. See ya. See ya. Give it a, give it a bloody, give it a gander.